Hello everyone. Today I want to introduce to you an Excel add-on that's called Chart Expo for Excel. So it does require you to purchase it, but before that you do have seven day free trial. And within the seven days, I think you can already do a lot of fancy charts. So I don't want to waste the resources and I'm going to introduce to you how to use that. Okay, so let's get started. I think for Excel 2013, you can go to stores and if you are using um, some higher version, then you can go to get add-ons uh, here. And uh, once you go into here, search for chart expo, and this is what's coming up. You go add, you agree to it. And it's going to ask you to log into um, your account. And once you are logged in, this is what you see. You see your trial will expire in seven days and you can buy it there if you like it. So what I want to introduce to you is um, what kind of charts it offers and how it can benefit you. So it does like if you're using it for the first time, you can go to how to. This is the page that it shows go uh, let you shows to. It shows you how to add the chart expo, which you can see the interface actually changed a little bit after this video, but that's okay. Um, you can actually go to documentation directly because this is actually where they host all the chart types. And um, this is quite fascinating. And then you can basically just browse through them to see basically the sample chart um, and the codes and sample data for them. So there are a lot of them. I personally feel it's very exciting uh, when I see them. I will just show you one uh, example and I'm going to show it with both uh, their sample data and my own example. So this is called the Likert chart. So as you can see, uh, it's very straightforward. I like that it's, um, it's very easy to understand even if you have no background of um, what it is. Basically, you can see this is um, presenting, representing a result from a survey. So in this sample, um, it's a survey about a hospital and it has a couple questions. How do you rate the cleaners? How do you rate the service? And then for each of the questions, they have a scale from like not happy to very happy, uh, one to five. And then it also gives you the overall score at the left side. So you can see whichever skill, um, whichever quality uh, or whichever add-on is better uh, or not. So I, I really like this and I, I can think of a lot of scenarios where we actually use this for, uh, for HR purpose. So let's say I decide to use this chart. What you can do now is go back to your trial uh, for the uh, chart expo, go to the logo on the top right, go to survey, and then you can see the first one you have is like a chart. And then just click on that. And then immediately you are going to see the sample chart that we just saw. Um, you are able to drag through the area uh, for an ideal size of the chart. And uh, you can see a couple uh, icons here. So the third icon here is to insert sample data to sheet. So let's click on that. This is actually the data that's used for this chart, right? So um, I, um, and it's quite straightforward. I actually really like the layout for it. And then I'm thinking, okay, I will use it uh, for an HR case, which is like a real life example that I can use for my work, which is something that looks like this. So for my case, I have a data table that has uh, a couple different departments. And um, I have, I also have the performance rating for all the employees. So I have, for example, for HR, I have 21 ex employees that's rated uh, as one, 66 that's rated as two, 15 rated as three, blah, blah, blah. And then I want to show that by department, what is the performance rating for, um, what is the performance rating distribution for my staff? And also what is the average um, score performance rating for each of the department? And this is a chart that I came up with and I can show you how to do this just from scratch. 
it's very easy. So uh, let's go back to uh, the top icon, survey liking chart. It's showing us the data with the, uh, the chart with the sample data. And then now let's go to the second icon, draw chart from chart, uh, sheet data, asking us to select the data. So we select our data that's prepared and then go OK. So here we go. So actually, this is pretty much very close to our final product. Um, we it has the overall. We have that many employees who are rated 14, 14% uh, rated one, 18% uh, rated as two, 15% rated as three, 27% rated as five. And then on average, the overall rating is 3.3. .3. And then for each of the departments, there's different ratings as well. So that's pretty much it, except we because we actually have more departments, more items than the sample data, our chart looks really huge. And then let's say if I want to copy and paste this chart into a PowerPoint or into some kind of reports, I'm not able to do that because the bars are too big. How do I do that? You go to the properties, the force icon, and then you can basically adjust your bars and the charts. So for example, you go to bars, see uh, the topic height is 50. Now let's say I want some narrow bar, so I change it to 10. So I feel the gap is too large, and then I also want to change it to 10. So now you can tell that my bar is getting wider. Uh, and my gap is getting narrower. So, um, and right now actually it seems, yeah, it seems that we are okay with this chart. Okay, so now let's close the property. Now actually you see uh, the title itself is still the sample data. So let's change the title as well. So to do that, you go to property and then move over to header, top, label, hospital survey, and then let's say I want to change it to performance rating by department. Enter, and then actually here we go. Start. The last, uh, for your reports, the last thing you need to do is basically just copy this area, and you have a beautiful chart for your needs. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.